Hi everyone, this is Don Stouter and in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how I print pictures using Photoshop Elements 2018 and I'm printing onto an Epson R1800. Uh, the printer screens that you'll see in the demo will be pretty close to probably what you will see if you're using most models of a Epson printer but will probably be significantly different if you're using say an HP printer. Screens itself within Elements will look pretty much the same. So let's get started. I have already opened my picture to be edited. I've already edited it and it's sitting in the expert mode of the photo editor of PSC 2018. So the first thing I do if I'm going to print a picture or even if I'm just looking at it, I want to see what the actual picture size is. How I do it is I go up and click on image, resize, image size, and I make sure that the resample image check mark is off for the most part, at least initially, to get a feel for this. Now, for an Epson printer, uh, for my particular printer, it's recommended at 360. Most Epson printers today are probably at 300 resolution DPI, as you see here, or older ones may be at 240 pixels per inch. But as you can see, right now the resolution is at 300 pixels per inch, and given the picture dimensions that I have out of my camera, if I were to send that file to the printer to be printed, it could print something as large as 18 by 12. Well, really, I don't really want that. I'm going to print this on 8.5 by 11. So after I've checked this out, I'm just going to hit cancel. Nothing happens. And the first thing I want to do is crop my picture to an 8.5 by 11. So I'm going to go over here find the crop tool right down here. It's already selected. If I click on it, you will see the crop dimensions or the crop option window down here in the bottom. And they have um, the uh, rule of thirds layouts that you can use to actually crop your picture using them. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put in a width of 11 because it's a landscape picture. I'm going to put a height of eight and a half inches 8.5 and click somewhere out here okay so now when I draw my rectangle it's going to be constrained to the uh, aspect ratio of an 11 inch by eight and a half inch print so I'm just going to draw my rectangle and now I'm going to position a rectangle and I'm going to try to use the rule of thirds as best I can Page is running towards first base, so I'm going to have her on the third uh, vertical line there onto the left, off center. You can see the ball in the upper right, right corner, and the first baseman about ready to catch the ball uh, pretty much in the center. But this looks like a good crop for me. I forgot to click on the green check mark. There's my crop. And I could get this little bit out of here, but for the sake of this demo, I'm going to leave it. That black area right there. Now I'm going to go over and I'm going to click on image, resize, image size. There I've cropped it to just about 8.5 and it's going to have a lot more uh, resolution than I need to print this. Normally I'll just keep this. It won't hurt you. It's supposedly could slow down the printing a bit but it's okay you can send more a higher resolution to the printer remember this is going to be the file size that I send to the printer it's going to measure um, 4720 pixels wide and 3647 pixels high okay so now we really get into the meat of this demo how am I going to print this I'm going to click on file print. First thing I want to do is on the upper right hand corner make sure I have the right printer selected. I told you I was going to be using my Photo R1800 and so that's the printer I select. 
now the options and everything within this dialog will relate to that particular printer. The very first thing I do is I go down and click on more options. And then I'm going to go up on the left hand side in the column there or in the panel there. I'm going to click on color management. And I let the printer manage the colors. This is in contrast to a workflow if I were to be calibrating my monitor and letting Photoshop Elements manage the colors. I don't calibrate my monitor. I've gone through that and I get the best results, most consistent results, if I do the following, meaning I let the printer manage the colors. And I'm going to be using the sRGB 1966 color space as opposed to RGB uh, Adobe RGB or one of the other color spaces. That works the best for me. Here's my printer and I'm going to choose relative color metric. There's also saturation and perceptual. Some people will use perceptual. I use relative color metric. I've never used any of these others two at this point. So it's relative color metric. And it's got a reminder here, make sure that I set up the printer exactly. Because if I tell the printer to manage the colors, I'm, I'm telling Photoshop to manage the, to let the printer manage the colors, then when I get to the printer, I gotta make sure I tell the printer to manage the colors. If it thinks Photoshop is, things are not gonna be right. Or I will be double correcting, which will make things wrong as well. So printer preferences is what I'm gonna do next. Okay, there's my R1800, and I'm going to be printing on glossy paper. So the first thing, I'm going to, and it's 8.5 by 11 size, by the way. First thing I'm going to do is set this to the paper, from plain paper to premium glossy photo paper. That's my paper that I have in the printer. Now, because I've done that, I'm going to go and click on borderless, because I want the print to go all the way to the edges. It won't do that on all types of paper here, but it will on glossy. So I'm going to click OK here. It lets me know it's not going to be as sharp in the edge. Now here, I could go best photo, photo, or photo RPM. For the demonstration purposes and for setup, I'm going to go best photo. Sometimes I'll go with just photo, but for the demo, I'm going to do best photo. It's a better quality. It's going to be landscape. And what I turn off, there's a gloss uh, ink in my printer. I'm gonna, I don't want to use that. I don't want to use high speed because I want the best quality I can get. Print preview. I do want a print preview. You'll see that in a minute. Now I have to go over here. Color management. Remember, I said that we have to make sure that whatever we set here, this is how we're going to do our color management because I said let the printer do it. I normally use Photo Enhance, Auto Corrupt. I'm letting Epson provide its own uh, color management to this particular printer, knowing that it came over in a color space of sRGB. I do not normally use the digital camera correction. Looks like I'm all done here. By the way, just for purposes, this is the advanced screen. I could go to a basic screen if I wanted, which simplifies the screen that we're looking at or the dialog box. I stay on this. So now I'm ready. I'm done with that. I click OK. And so now remember I, where I got into this. I'm now going to click OK. Now I'm done with this part. Now I go over here and I'm checking all of these things at this point to make sure that I'm properly set up right. I got the right printer selected. Um, the quality I've chosen is 720. I'm doing borderless. I could change the system settings here or the printer settings here, but I won't. It knows that I have 8.5 by 11. It knows that it's a landscape. I'm printing individual prints and the print size is custom. And I'm not going to crop the print. I'm just going to let because I've already cropped it. You can see that it fills up my entire space here. The way this looks, uh, I know it's going to print borderless. So now I'm ready to actually print. Okay, here's my print preview. This is what I wanted to make sure came up. And again, it's one, one last check. 
And I will let you know that because I'm printing sRGB, this will look very similar to what I see on the screen. Other color spaces, it may look a little different if I were managing the color with Photoshop. Okay, now when I click on this button here, it's going to actually print my picture. 